In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my Logitech Crown um, and Apple TV to mark up directly on an iPad. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're displaying your iPad on the Apple TV. And so if I swipe down from the bottom right hand corner, it says screen mirroring. If I click that button, I would find my Apple TV and display to it. Assuming you've done that, then what you can do is you can go, let's pretend I have a document that I want that's printed off that I want to mark up. So I, I click the camera button and I'm literally just going to take a picture of my document. And so let's pretend I want to take a picture of this here. And I snap the photo. Once you've taken the photo, if I click on it and open it up, I can edit it. And so if I click edit, and one thing I want to note, the, I use the landscape rather than the portrait because the TV is landscape. So your document may be portrait, but it's still going to be bigger and I can zoom and do all the different things here. So notice I've got that sideway uh, landscape view. All right, so again, all I did is I click edit, I click on the three dots and I'm going to mark it up. Once I mark it up, it brings up this little thing here and I can change my colors. I can do all sorts of different things. I can add text box that I type in, but just from a writing perspective, you know, I can mark up this document. I can even, because it's a picture, I can zoom in, I can add, hi, I can circle all sorts of different things and we can zoom back out. When you're done, you just click done, done, and it will save your photo with those edits on it, which is really nice. So let's talk about now like a website or something that's online rather than something that's printed. With that, you go to the site that you want to use. And I went to ESPN just to pull up an article. And let's say we're going to um, annotate this text. First thing, which is just a little uh, tip. If there's an article, if you click the AA next to ES, like the website, if that is there, it takes it and you choose reader view, it takes away all the ads. It's really awesome. So check this out. Bam. So now all of that stuff, the distractors are all gone. It's just my text. And from here, let's say I want to mark that up. I could screenshot it and it's going to make it a photo, but it's actually even easier than that. So if you click the share button, which is the square with the arrow pointing up, which is right there, there's that same markup button. If I click markup, it's going to open this up basically as a PDF and it will do this with any website. Um, and now I just click the little pencil button and there's that same little uh, toolbar that I can use to um, annotate and do different things to it. And same thing, I can zoom and, you know, let's say I wanted them to, <laughs> not that they would, but you, know, you can do all this different stuff. And again, when you're done, you can, um, save it and you can send that to kids, email, whatever. But um, hopefully you find this to be helpful.